300 miles. That's about from downtown Toledo to Mackinac Island in Michigan. It's a long drive, but could you walk it? That's one. That's what one parent did in Bedford. Now the Bedford High School lacrosse team is receiving a large donation thanks to all those steps. Laura Sandlin joins us in stu studio. Laura, tell us more. Kaylee, lacrosse at Bedford High School has been partially funded for the last 20 years, leaving the cost up to parents and fundraisers. However, one parent, Greg Senyo, raised over $4,700 for the kids to play. There's just lots of things that come along with it that are additional expenses for our families and for the school and for the program and for the sport in general. Julia Porter is the director for the lacrosse boosters at Bedford. From replacing equipment to registration fees, she says every year parents pay thousands of dollars to have their kids play. Just for a set of equipment, probably a fair guesstimate would be five to six hundred dollars at least. Porter says the boosters and parents end up covering costs. So this year we were able to get equipment bags for both boys and girls, uniforms for both boys and girls, which were all very well needed. Um, so we've, we've done a lot in six, seven months. Now, with the help from Senyo's GoFundMe, the boosters can do more. It's all for the kids. It, this is definitely all for the kids, for the players, for the athletes. Um, they put the work in. Um, it's all just to help the players help morale, help, help them have all the things that they need to make this program successful. Athletic Director Mark Garman says the school's working on fully funding lacrosse, which would help parents financially. The, the school district is still considering uh, investing further in lacrosse because of the interest level, because of uh, it's become a point of pride in our community, and, um, and we know that it's a very expensive sport. I'm pretty confident that it's going to happen. It's just working out all the details. He says the funds will help to pay for what they need both to a general fund that will support both the boys and the girls lacrosse programs top to bottom. So it's going to be who, what, what is needed is going to get purchased. The athletic director says the school is currently having discussions about fully investing in the program and should reach a verdict by the end of this month. Reporting in studio, Laura Sandlin, WTOL 11.